What's up everybody? Zach here, Hangry Muscle. To show you how to get this bright white on dark garments. All right, so I just got in some new film and today I'm gonna show you how I set it up so I can get the perfect settings for the new film. So first I'll start by going over to the queue. Then I'm gonna go down to set maximum white ink. And I'm going to choose the size of the film that I'm using, which is going to be 13 plus the uh, A3 plus. So choose my image. Five by three. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to put the size of the image. You can put whatever you want here. Five by three is pretty good. I don't need to do more than that. I go next, put this down at 40%. Okay, so right here, I'm going to set the minimum percentage. This will be the lowest percentage that's going to print the white. This is going to be the maximum percent. It's going to it print the white, and then it's going to print in increments of five. So each image will go up 5%. So there would be one for 40%, 45%, 50%, and so on until it hits 75. And once I set these, then I'm going to go ahead and push the print max white ink chart. And it may take a little bit because these images need to load up. Here we go. All right, once the images are loaded in, don't push next. That's important. Go ahead and just click out of the box. Don't exit or cancel or back. Just click out anywhere. Once I have that set, just going to go ahead and print it. So this is an example of two wet, as you can see. Really close. It has a glossy shine to it. It's also leaking right here. So if I were to go like that, that's how you know. But it's extremely wet. And that's what you don't want. I'm going to lift it up so you guys can see. It's going to, well, it's already dripping. But as I start to lift it, that's what's going to happen. So you don't want to use too much white or else that's going to happen. And when you powder and it's too wet, the powder was going to mix with this wet ink and it's going to seep through and so you're not going to have super bright white you're going to get that grayish white or also see some of the fabric through the design so this is a no-go i'm going to show you guys what it's like if you do too little white this is what it looks like when you don't use enough white you'll notice the colors aren't as vibrant that and also a couple other things you'll notice is when you go to cure it, the powder may not stick to it. It's going to, you're going to have issues carrying there. When you press it on a shirt, the transfer may blend in with the shirt and bleed through. That's going to be another issue. And these may not last as long. They're probably going to peel after maybe one or two washes. So that's going to be an issue if you're using too little white. Now, when you do your test sheet and you printed out the different white percentages, now you just need to decide which one is best. And that's going to be based on a couple of things. So one is going to be how it looks. You want to check both sides, make sure that the white is actually covering all the color that you want it to in a good percentage. It's also not too too wet to where I can hold it up like this and it's not dripping down. 
I'm also going to check the colors to make sure that my colors are also where I want them to be. And then a few other things that you're going to do a cure test. You're going to see how it looks after curing it, see what it looks like then. You're also going to do a wash test and see what it looks like after washing. And I would definitely recommend doing a stretch test to see what it looks like after doing the stretching. All right. Now that you did your test sheet, come back to the PC, go to the Catholic icon and open up this screen again that we didn't close earlier. And once you decide on what percentage works best, you'll put come over to here and you're going to enter it here. So I believe 55, 55 works best for the film that I'm using today, which is the quick lie from all American print supply company. I'm going to push next and you have three options here, but the option we're going to do is create a new print mode. The reason being is when we create a new print mode, these settings will be saved. And that way, in case you don't like the new settings, you can always revert back to your old settings. And if something happens, Cadling closes or crashes or whatever, those settings, these new settings will be saved. So you won't have to go through this process again um, to get that set up. So go ahead and create a new print mode. You can name it. Usually I would name it something the percentage white that I use, 55 white. And then finish. Cool. And now you'll have that print mode saved. So you'll see it there. Your settings will be saved when you use it. If I go over to Q and properties. You'll see that the white is set at 55%. So now I know anytime I use that film, that 55% is probably the best option for printing that. Now that may change depending on certain images, but for the most part, that's going to be your best option for getting the, the print out to where it's not too wet when it, when it comes out. And also it's not too, uh, too dry. So you won't have any issues caring. And that's it for the video today. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to be covering more printing.